Hi, I'm Teresa with Inflectra. I'll be providing a series of short videos to help you get started using Spira. This includes all the additions of the system, Spira Test, Spira Team, and Spira Plan. In this video, we'll take a look at managing incidents. So let's get started. In our sample product, we can access the incident list page from the drop-down menu here. I'm just going to open that in a different tab. Here we can see we have a couple of incidents that were previously logged during test execution. However, you're not limited to entering incidents only during test execution. You may enter a new incident directly here with this new incident button. You can also use the quick launch widget available here on the My Page view where you select the product and then click the plus button. And the simplest method by far is to use the keyboard shortcut Shift and I anywhere in the application and a new incident detail form will open. Spire offers customizable types for incidents as well, so you might want to log an enhancement. We can do that now. You can see that the description is a required field, so I'm going to just enter a description as well. Great, and I'll save that. And if we return to our incident list page, now we have those three incidents. Um, we're missing some priorities here, so I can quickly update those, selecting those and clicking edit. I'll give that bug a high priority and the enhancement I'll give a medium. And I'll click save. If we do a quick refresh of the page. You can see that the chart here updates with those new priorities as well. Spire also has a board view for instance. So here grouping by status, we can see the Kanban view of all the incidents and where they are in their workflow. We have one closed here and two new. And before we begin to assign those, we might want to take a look at the workload of our product resources here. So we can see that Fred does have some remaining time available. So let's go ahead and assign that bug to Fred to work on. I'm going to click on the card to open the detail page for that bug. First, I'll update the status to assign incident. And now you can see the owner field appears and it's required. We'll assign that to Fred, and I'll leave a comment for him too. Now I'll click Save. So now when Fred logs on, he'll see this uh, incident assigned on his My Page view. Let's switch browsers to Fred's instance here. We'll do a refresh on his My Page. And there's that assigned incident here. Fred would click on the incident. And let's say he's able to resolve that incident here. He might leave a comment. And we can click Save. Note that if you're using Spira in conjunction with source code management tools like Git or Subversion, then you could insert this incident token in that tool, and it will link an association to the commit. So we can update the planned release too, like that. And now let's head back to Teresa Green's instance. We'll do a refresh here. You can see that the status is resolved, so Teresa's going to want to do a retest. Clicking on the Associations tab, we can find that test run where the failure occurred. And now at the top of the page, she can utilize the retest button here. This will launch our test wizard. And let's say that we were successfully able to pass all the steps, confirming that the bug is fixed. So here Spira shows that the test case has been updated with the latest execution status of a pass. And we can return to the incident and update 
the instant status to closed. So we'll update the status in the overview tab. We can also enter a comment. And then we can update the verified release to the Sprint 2 as well and click Save. If we go back to our incident list in the board view, grouping by status, we can see that now we have two closed incidents and just that uh, enhancement here that's new. So that's a little bit of how to work with incidents, assigning them, triaging them, Thanks so much for watching this incidents video today. We have more expl explainer videos on our channel, so you could check them out now.